Antibiotics are very important to medicine. A simple cut could result in a serious infection and sometimes death. Unfortunately, because of the fact that bacteria are constantly evolving resistance, we are in a situation where there are multi-drug resistant bacteria. When you begin to look at the patient populations most at risk, it's the very young, the very old, individuals with diseases like cancer, autoimmune diseases. The percentage rise in those resistant infections is increasing at an astronomical rate. With that kind of a trajectory, it's hard to keep up when the pipeline for new drug development is not overly rich. I was running a marathon, which I had run many before, and at mile 17, I got very tired and started feeling very poorly. That night, I started coughing blood up. I was diagnosed with MAC lung disease. It's a chronic lung infection that is drug resistant to most antibiotics. Our research is trying to find a new class of antibiotics that would contribute to solving multi-drug resistant bacteria problem. You can think of it as a soccer ball with a hollow interior where thousands of iron ions can accumulate. We have developed compounds that can bind to this bacteriopheritin in the outer part of the soccer ball and prevent other proteins to bind to it. So we are creating a situation where bacteria has plenty of iron, but because it cannot mobilize it into the cytosol, it is basically sensing that it doesn't have iron. What's important about this new class of antibiotics is that it's aimed at a very different mechanism than has ever been targeted before. And as we begin to see new forms of resistance, what we recognize is we need new mechanisms of drug action. It's very exciting because nobody else is doing this, and so it's so unknown, and it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication and careful experimentation. Coming to LSU, I've definitely had that opportunity to come into something and make it better. Some of the major things that I used to love to do, like running marathons, I cannot do those anymore. I'm in remission right now, but I know that can change in an instant. Right now, I feel like I'm in the red zone, and I'm almost to the goal line. I'm very excited about this research because I think it will put me and others like me that have drug-resistant bacteria into the uh, end zone. If we don't really discover new antibiotics, then you can think of medicines taking a gigantic step back. Many things that can be done in modern medicine rely on antibiotics. But if antibiotics do not work, medicine ceases to be what it is now.